Hello, hello, and welcome back after Christmas. I hope you had absolutely fabulous time with your family and friends. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create pink tulips Z-fold birthday card. And for today's project, I use that beautiful stamp and layer. Stamp shaded tulips artwork designed by Susan Bates, and that was a free gift with Paper Craft Inspiration magazine a few years ago. As you can see, it has lots of beautiful tulip stamps, and I'm going to use my 8 by 8 inches stamping platform by Crafters Companion to stamp all my tulips. I'm putting all my stamps on the side, and looking from the left hand side, I've got the most bold image, and then Moving to the right hand side, most detailed images. And we're going to do the stamps later on. Now, when you do your any layering stamping, make sure your card is nice and smooth. And this one is 250 GSM card. And also, I've got a piece of scrap paper. And I'm going to test all my ink pads before we do any stamping. And this way, you will know exactly how opaque your inks are and actually how well do they work together. And I really encourage you to do the same before you do any stamping. First, I'm putting my most bold images at the bottom. And if you can see, the logo is in the bottom right corner, and then it will make it easier when we start rotating our platform. First, I'm stamping using my lightest color first, and then I'm going to put another layer on top, and this time we're going to use slightly darker ink. And doing this way, you have to rotate your stamping platform 90 degrees, and we are stamping our first layer with the lightest color, and then the second layer with a little bit darker color. And then you repeat the process, and using your any stamping platform, you will actually have 16 tulips ready for any of your projects. And of course, you can change the color combo if you want. For this card, I had to use pink colors, so that's why I chose those colors. Now, in the top right corner, you can also check my other birthday card, where I use beautiful butterfly for 40th birthday. And I'm really curious which one you will like more. This pink tulip Z-fold card, or maybe the butterfly Z-fold birthday card. Please let me know in the comments down below. And as you can see, these tulips are just so beautiful when we add all those layers. And again, I'm moving my stamping platform and looking at the logo. It is so much easier to rotate the platform. In the description down below, you can check all the products I use in today's video, and I will try to leave as many links to the products as I can. However, the free gift um, is not available anymore because Papercraft Inspiration discontinued, unfortunately. It is a shame because that was such a beautiful and amazing craft magazine. And here, as you can see in our 250 GSM card, we still have some space left, so then you can add more tulips with different color combo, or you can stamp our stems and leaves. These flowers are just so beautiful, and I wonder, have you ever used layering stamping in your card making? If you have, what images did you use? Or maybe you've got your favorite brand with layering stamping. I'm really curious, so please let me know in the comments down below. And I wonder, have you ever used pink color, black and gold together for any of your birthday cards? What do you think about this color combo? Now I'm going to fussy cut all my tulips. I really like fussy cutting, so that was not a big deal for me. Now I've got some black card, and with the bigger square panel, I'm going to emboss it with Swirly Heart embossing, powder, uh, embossing folder, and that was a free gift with one of the magazines. Unfortunately, I can't remember which one it is with. And then I've got 3D embossing folder called Regency Swirls, and that comes from Crafters Companion. And I'm going to emboss my side panels. And using my nesting dice and gold mirror card, I'm going to create a beautiful frame. And then using my bigger nesting die, I'm going to have black background. And using that beautiful edgeable Venetian scrolls, I'm going to die cut my 
Z fold element and then using that beautiful number set from Apple Blossom I'm going to die cut number 40 because that's exactly the number we need for today's card and as you can see those embossed panels just look so beautiful even on black card however I'm going to add a little bit of pink so everything matches beautifully and to do it I'm using my ink blending tool and these actually inks come from Spectrum Noir and they are opaque pigment inks and they are called Pink Tulip and Fuchsia. Have you ever used those two inks together? If you have, what did you make with them? Please let me know. And this way it is a little bit more like purple on black but even then the tulips and the background match beautifully what do you think about this now I'm going to add the same inks on my side panels and then you can see how those embossed panels literally come to life I really really like the technique and it just gives you such a beautiful and unique look have you ever inked your embossed panels Please let me know, do you use it very often or you haven't used it in a very long time and you would like to try it. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell because I'm planning to do more videos like this in the future. Now I'm using these Venetian scrolls. I'm going to die cut two of them using gold mirror card. And I've got this beautiful happy birthday cutting die from Crafters Companion. And this one was a long time ago. And also I'm going to die cut the name of the recipient using gold um, gold uh, mirror card and this beautiful Tonic Studio cutting dice. And now when everything is ready, we are going to start assembling all the panels. And also I wanted to tell you that next week on the Monday, I will have another beautiful birthday card, but this time it will be with roses for the 50th birthday. So stay tuned for that because that video will be amazing as well. And now I'm using the same ink pads to give my um, nesting die here a little bit more dimension and using my one and only magic glue liquid glue I'm going to put my gold mirror um, nesting die here on top of my panel and this way I will make sure that it is adhered properly now when this is ready I've got six by six inches craft card base and I'm going to score it at seven and a half centimeter to give me that Z fold element super quick and easy and you have a base for your card so as you can see it is amazingly easy and you can just decorate it the way you want and I really like to use craft card because it is amazing in any card making projects now as you can see I've got some panels cut from gold mirror card and this way I will make sure that all my elements match beautifully and I'm going to adhere them first with gold mirror card and my black panels and before we attach them to our card base we are actually going to add a little bit of ribbon because that will make our card even more special but before we do that I'm going to use metallic gilding polish by Cosmic Shimmer and this one is called Hay Bale as you can see it has a very nice sponge and I'm applying the color very gently on top and this way you have even more dimension on your card have you ever used that technique in your card making now, as you can see, I've got two beautiful satin ribbons and I thought these colors would match my tulips beautifully. As you can see, they're not very pink, but a little bit of lilac, I would say. But I think even then they match the tulips pretty well. Have you ever used ribbons in your card making? How did you use them? Did you make bows or did you just attach them on the sides? Please let me know. And here I'm using red liner tape on the back of my ribbon because I found this is the best and the quickest way to put our ribbons together. And I'm using my pokey tool to peel off the backing of red liner tape and I'm adhering it to my panel. 
as usual I've got some double-sided tape on the back of my panel so this way I will make sure it is so much easier to attach my panels on the card base. And also I wanted to ask you, how was your Christmas? What did you get? Did you get your favorite or the most uh, wanted present this year? If you have, what was it? Please let me know in the comments down below. And also, what was your favorite Christmas meal this year? I really, really wonder. Now I'm going to put my Venetian scrolls, edgeable cutting dice, but before we do that I need a tiny strip of black card and I'm going to attach my edgeable dice here at the bottom using my liquid glue because then I've got enough time to maneuver all my elements and this glue dries clear. If you haven't tried it before I really recommend it because it is my favorite and as I said before, one and only magic glue. It is perfect for any cut making project. And when this element is ready, I think it matches my panels beautifully, where we use that metallic gilding polish and that gold mirror card. Oh, I really like how they really work together beautifully. What do you think about that co color combo? Please let me know. And now when our Z-fold element works, I'm going to attach that beautiful embossed panel on top and actually it will hide our heart. So yes, I thought it through really well. And now I attach happy birthday and I also adhered the name of the recipient using that beautiful alphabet cutting die from Tonic Studio. And as you saw me, I put liquid glue only on one of the sides. And now it is that time to add even more elements and yes, all those beautiful tulips we created. So first I'm doing a dry run because I want to make sure that everything matches beautifully and there is enough space for every single element. So yes, do it in your card making project. Put all the elements first on the card and see how the composition looks like and then you can start adhering all your elements. Super quick and easy and this way you will never ever make a mistake. As you can see here with the tulips I decided to make a heart because not only it will match our beautiful embossed heart but also it will give our card more interest. Super quick and easy. And yes, now I'm going to adhere our 40 number because that is the birthday for the recipient. And now when this is ready, I'm going to add a few more tulips on the side panel here because everything now matches beautifully. And yes, I had to add three more tulips at the bottom because you know me, I really like going in threes and this way our card is super, super special. To add even more interest, I decided to use a little bit of ribbon again and I made a bow super quick and easy. And as usual, I use my liquid glue to attach my bow to the ribbon. And our card is done. What do you think about this? Please let me know in the comments down below. Also on the left hand side, you can check my other project where I created birthday card in the shape of a Rolex watch. And also on the right, you can check my other video. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting. Don't forget to like this video and I hope to see you in my next video. See you. Bye!